Have you always wanted to relive your childhood and dust off your old consoles? But when you plug it in your new flat screen TV, it looks garbage! You think to yourself, do I find an old CRT and play these consoles or just emulate them on my PC? Please check the follow up video if you do want to emulate them, but in this video, we will be checking if CRT gaming is still possible in 2021 and is it worth your time, money, and effort to do so? So first off, the CRT TV. The big benefit of using a CRT TV over a flat screen is that they look sharp when playing retro games on these old consoles. These consoles were designed to output 240p or 480i which these CRT TVs natively support. Their colors also pop as blacks look deep and there's just something in an image made by a cathode ray tube that makes images look great when having death. So if you don't have a CRT lying around at your house or know a friend that wants to get rid of theirs, I recommend searching at local listings such as Facebook Marketplace or your local selling app. What I have at the moment is a Samsung Analog CRT model CT21Z51MQ. This is one of the last analog CRTs as they have a component input that only supports 480i but with better image separation when compared to composite. Be warned though that unless it has been serviced recently, I would recommend newer models of CRTs made between 2006 to 2008 as these will have a longer lifespan compared to those made before the 2000s. Another problem is availability. Fully working CRTs are getting rarer as time passes by since new ones are not being made anymore. Always make sure to inspect all the inputs, the speakers, and also the remote as well as the display before making a purchase. Picking it up personally would be a much better experience as shipping something like a heavy CRT could probably break it. Let me show you what a retro console looks like on a CRT so you can judge for yourself if the nostalgia is indeed worth it. The connections for both PS1 and GameCube will be composite as they can be bought easily and for cheap while also having the same reason for the PS2 and the Wii while having component cables. In the PS1, I will be playing Final Fantasy IX to show the best that the PS1 can offer. Now for the PS2, I will be playing Bully by Rockstar Games which I think is very underrated and is a must play for any GTA fan.
Then for the Wii, I will be playing Super Mario Galaxy as it is a native Nintendo game as well as having been the most played during our childhoods. Then finally, on the GameCube, I will be playing the Pokemon games as they demonstrate how playing a handheld game on a retro console would look like. In conclusion, it is very much possible to use a CRT for retro gaming even in 2021. The newer CRT models are still relatively easy to find and purchase for a cheap price if you look at local listings or in your neighborhood. They will surely receive your old gaming consoles and also make for a good movie screen especially if it's an old movie or animation. Thank you guys for watching. Like or dislike the video and please subscribe to the channel.